For me, yoga creates space. Stretching and toning my body through various postures, I find such a calm within. Coupling these with breath or pranayama creates a sense of flow. I feel rejuvenated, present, and in control during my practice. That sense of stability then leaks into my everyday life, and the more I practice, the more comfortable I feel within myself. My name is Anja Donnellen, I'm 24 years old from Sweden, and I'm a newly certified yoga teacher. I did my 200 hour teacher training in India, where yoga as a practice originates from, and some researchers believe that it has existed there for more than 10,000s of years. The style of yoga I recently started practicing is called Ashtanga. It consists of a series of movements which you perform in a specific order every single time. And it looks something like this. To warm up the limbs and muscles, along with getting your mind and spirit ready for your practice, you begin the series with 10 rounds of sun salutations. Next up comes your standing postures, consisting of a lot of forward bends. During each posture or asana, which is the Sanskrit word for seat, you're supposed to take five ujjayi breaths. An ujjayi breath is a breathing technique that helps calm the mind and warm the body. Another word for it is ocean breath. Because while breathing through your nose, completely filling your lungs with air, you're supposed to slightly contract your throat, creating a hissing sound. Your ujjayi breath is to be upheld throughout the practice. Once you've transitioned down to your seating asanas, your arms and shoulders will get a proper workout as you will perform a jump back, jump through sequence between each and every posture from now on. Working your way through various twists and bends, you will eventually reach the inversions, consisting of bridge pose, shoulder stand, and headstand. Inversions, postures where your hip is higher than your heart and your heart higher than your head, are a great way to improve your blood circulation and it's said to increase your immune system and help prevent illness. Finishing off, you complete the sequence with three different lotus postures followed by at least 10 minutes of savasana, or corpse posture, during which your mind and body should fully relax. My favorite thing about yoga is its accessibility. You can literally do it anywhere as long as you have a mat. During these times of a global pandemic, gyms have closed down. There's no more tennis or rugby, but as long as you have your mat, you can practice yoga. On the mat, you get to know yourself. You show up for yourself and you care for yourself. And in turn, you will become so much more present with everyone and everything else that you encounter in life. So it's a win-win situation, really.